Hello friends. Let's learn practically how we can implement parameters and how we can use uh, parameters in information design tool. The theory section I have already covered in the uh, earlier video. That link for that video is available in this video description. You can go through it if you have not gone it, uh, through it to understand parameters. So uh, let's see means how we can practically create parameters. So to create a parameters or input prompts means we need to se select this option. Means this uh, section is available in this data foundation uh, parameters and list of values. So once you click on this, uh, there is a, a name we need to put like uh, suppose I wanted to have a user uh, just to prompt for the uh, car manufacturer. Okay, so I can give this uh, description just to understand means uh, as a business perspective uh, prompt to the user I wanted to prompt it for the users so I can say like enter car manufacturer allow multiple values keep uh, last values we can select if you want to select only a single value then you can say uncheck this option list of values means we wanted to show the users uh, the list of values uh, for that uh, this car manufacturer so that we can uh, associate this so this is already a car manufacturer uh, or car maker of list of values is created so we can just associate that with this so once we have this we can uh, make make this uh, input prompts as uh, hidden as well means if there is anything means which we wanted to make the parameters hidden and, uh, so these are the different different options select only from the list or set default values also we can Select means if you click on this, means it, it can uh, allow us to set the default values. So once we create this, so now uh, this is the creation of the uh, input prompts. Uh, so now we wanted to use it. So, so in the business layer, let's go to the, some of the uh, variable, like suppose in uh, uh, client cells. So let's take which is the, yeah. So this is one of the business layer which I have created. So um, suppose I wanted to apply this filter on car uh, maker so, or model. Let's see, means this is model uh, for rental. I wanted to add one more parameter where whatever the models we, uh, it will be uh, the user will select the manufacturer and then uh, based on that it will get the uh, results for that particular model. So uh, here, what I'll do, I'll add one more condition here as and, and let's go to this SQL assistant here. So what I'll do, um, I will add a condition here that uh, maker, and maker name is, so this maker name is, we can say in, and, and, and you will see this is a car manufacturer uh, is a parameter so which we I, I already created it so let's click on this um, so that what it will go it, it will check means maker name is in this car manufacturer uh, let's uh, validate this expression and click on ok so once we save this means how we can test it right means test it means uh, let's go to the queries uh, section means you can add one query here and uh, let's see means uh, so uh, you will have different different options here uh, like uh, in the car so maker uh, so let's see miss maker is the one uh, field in model for renters is one of the objects which I'm uh, selecting so if I run this uh, just to refresh it the prompt is uh, Displayed. So we see, Miss, I can add these values here. So whatever the user wanted to select the manufacturer name, so the, he can click on this and uh, it, it will give the results. So for that particular um, manufacturer, so this is this is the use of the input prompts or uh, that we can allow users to restrict the data based on their need. So this is how we can use uh, parameters. So I hope you have understood this concept. If you have any questions, then please put it in the comment section. 
if you like my video then please like it please subscribe to my channel as well so that you'll get to know about my next streaming video thank you for watching